The Zone is a fearsome and formidable place. In our earlier journeys through our five episode series, we learned what it takes to survive in a wasteland like this. Wanting to make a name for ourselves, we chose to seek out the most legendary stalker of the Zone and do whatever it took to find out the secrets of how this place was born. This is Stalker, the finale. The world was on fire and no one could save me but you. You strange what desire will make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody. For once, a morning in the outskirts of Pripyat felt upbeat. Our two teammates, Strelok and Rogue, on their way to the power plant were stopped by a man named Eidolon, a monolith soldier who wore a very, very powerful exosuit and had artifacts that made him nearly invulnerable to any sort of rounds that the team had. In episode four, Rogue told me of a mysterious experimental rifle called a Gauss rifle that was hidden deep within a facility that could potentially penetrate this man's seemingly invincible armor. So we were able to obtain that rifle and give it to Rogue, who then repaired it and gave it to us to do the honors. So now all that was left to do was to actually use the Gauss rifle on Eidolon and hope that it does enough damage to take him down. Once he's down, there's nothing stopping our crew from reaching the power plant. On an early October morning, we started the raid on his compound. Luckily for us, his guards and crew were not ready for our attack, and we were able to take out Eidolon with a single swift blow to the head. With a Gauss rifle. <laughs> Holy shit. And that's where the story begins today. Right after the death of a nearly invulnerable man, we are now ready to raid the Chernobyl power plant. On a scale from average to close call, close enough. <laughs> Seems Eidolon had an extremely rare artifact on him. Keep it if you want. Consider that a bonus for your help. Thanks, Trelock. Now that we've wiped out about half the monolith forces in the zone, can you tell me what you're looking for this far north? Answers. Like you. I seek answers. In order to get them, Rogue must walk into me very awkwardly in this dialogue sentence. In order to get them, we must raid the Chernobyl MPP and find a shard of the Wish Granter. Ooh. Okay, no, hang on. Are you insane? Raid the power plant? Wish Granter? It's real after all? I heard legends, but... There's a grain of truth in every legend st- Okay, Rogue. Even Strelok is looking at you funny. Rogue, chill. There's a grain of truth in every legend stalker. The Wish Granter exists, I've seen it with my own eyes. And don't worry, we've managed to defeat Eidolon and his forces. I was able to fight my way into the power plant myself a few years ago. With your help, we'll manage again. This is insane, how do you plan to attack it? We'll do it the old-fashioned way, stalker. I can't wait to see what knowledge is worth all of this. Patience. Accompany us into the depths of the sarcophagus, and you'll find many of the answers you seek in the process. When we obtain the shard, I'll reveal anything else you may wish to know, I promise. Fair enough. I'll go with you. Good. Prepare for the adventure of a lifetime. Woo-wee! We're gonna go raid the freaking MPP, baby! This is it! This is like, I think this is the last mission. This is the last big thing. I have not yet been to the power plant, so... Yeah, this will be uh, this will be spooky. Oh man, oh man, I'm excited. I gotta prep. I gotta get an exosuit. I gotta upgrade it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find an exosuit. Th this is something that calls for something a little bit more ballistically resistant than this. 
All right, so long story short, um, I tried to go all the way down to Dead City and see if I could buy stuff there. Um, they didn't have anything. I was very surprised because my reputation with the Mercs is the highest of any faction. Then I went to Corden, tried to get stuff from them, but then the problem was is that I ran out of the invisible time limit for this mission. There is a time limit on this mission. You can't run around the zone and prepare for it. You can't dismiss Rogue and Strelok. So I had to come back to the quick save of me just talking to Strelok and him saying, all right, let's go to, you know, MPP. And now I have to quickly somehow get some sort of suit that's capable to fight all these monolith that are probably gonna be the MPP. Mercenary Nosrog is that suit. How did I get the suit? Well, found some mercs that Sherlock and Rogue had been killing while I was trying to talk to the mercs down south in the outskirts. They killed some of the ones that were actually inside the same building. On one of them, there was a Nazarog, but it was super, super damaged. Came over here, gave it to this guy, told him to repair it. He repaired it for 150k. I sold another few exos. I just ran back naked, basically. Um, sold a few more exos, sold a few more of my guns that were in that stash. And now we're at 215k. And I know for sure that somewhere within this upgrade list, there is sprinting available. Looks like that could be it. Lighter body armor weight. I don't know. I'm probably going to try to upgrade this all the way. Uh, where would sprinting be? Servo motor boosters. Installation of hydraulic boosters is a modification. Yeah! Sprinting in an exo! Okay. Additional armor attachment module? Sure. And ballistic. <laughs> we have 49k left. Oh my gosh. We're, we're, we're broke after this thing, man. We're absolutely broke. But this suit is going to be OP. I can put this plate on there. That adds me another uh, another 143H of ballistic resistance. I have no clue what that means at all. So I'll probably, um, I'll probably buy some ammo here. And buy some ammo from the Mercs. And then I will meet you guys back in Pripyat where we're going to be making our way to the Chernobyl MPP. All right, so we are back in Pripyat. Um, this time we're going up to the north and we're pushing through what looks like a stadium. I thought this was like an event center earlier. Uh, we're going through a stadium and then that will lead us onto the path to go to the south side of the Chernobyl MPP. So we've just got to make our way through this stadium. I have no clue. Oh, hello, doggo. No clue what's up here. It's probably a pack, yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's still, uh, he's still running. There he is. Sorry, buddy. You would have you would bite me anyways, don't act so sad. Not a huge fan of the bitey dogs. Stay close, buddies. Okay. Made it through there safe and sound. Oh, okay. We're going. Okie dokie. We are here. I have never been here before, so let's just take a look-see at the map. We need to go over there and kill Monolith, it looks like. Defeat the defending Monolith Forthis. 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 Really? Forthis? Forthis. Defeat, defeat the Forthis. Defeat the horses. This is really ominous. There's a lot of anomalies everywhere. I feel like the closer we get, it's gonna be just, it's gonna start going insane. We've got the Goss Rifle too. So if I see any guys at farther ranges, for sure I'm gonna use that Goss Rifle because I'm not gonna be able to really use it inside very much. So I wanna get it done and over with right now. I want to use all the ammo right now while I can. Yeah, the way that they follow you is not super immersive. I do like in Fallout 4, dog meat will kind of follow you beside and in front of you, which is a cool feature. Oh, yep, we got some guys. Ow! 
Yep, here we go. SVD. Ow. Oh god, they could move to the left? Can't even see him. Have that! Okay. I'm gonna trust the anti-bleed, the bleed stopper. Where's the guy to the right? Where is he, where is he? I actually cannot see him at all. I'm using FMJ, I'm gonna go to EP. Okay, he's somewhere still back there. There, got him, got him, got him. Okay, I'm gonna bandage. There's an SVD behind us? Or was that you, Rogue? Does Rogue have, no, that was, oh. He has an SVD, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Get back here, Sherlock. Oh my god, he is unloading that SVD. Here, have this. Sherlock, get back. Or, Rogue. Rogue, get back. Rogue, stop being crazy. Dude, Rogue, what are you doing? You're fighting SVDs, man. Trust me, you can't get rid of STDs. You don't want to get them. That guy was unloading like a buzzsaw. There's another SVD somewhere back here, unless that was rogue shooting. Oh, strong energy drink. Is it back here? No. 545 FMJ. Oh, old. Old 545 FMJ. Oh, shoot. What's the closest shelter? What's the closest thing that counts as shelter? Um, the center of the MPP? Oh, crap. Crap, because if these guys don't get in there... Oh, this isn't good. I'm going to get the goss out. We're going to have to run to the center. We're just going to have to push it hard. Oh, I thought that was another. Yikes. This isn't good. Okay. I can't I can't control the radiation, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're seriously just gonna have to run it. Oh, damn it. Why now? Ugh. <laughs> Yep, sorry guys. There's another one shooting from way over there. Shoot, take cover! <laughs> oh, he just he just died. He just died for sure. My stamp on my HUD is just gone. Oh, jeez! Shit. Luckily, this thing takes a lot of rounds. This armor. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Huh. <laughs> oh, there's a sniper up there? The whole time? Come on, guys. Hurry. I can hear Rogue just unloading that SVD. Did I miss? I missed. Why don't I just aim for the chest? It's a Goss rifle. Oh, jeez. Where's the guy behind me? Aha. Come on, Strelok. Come on, Rogue. Ah. Uh, so many of them. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're done with both of the things. The Psy Storm. What are you? Hey, I saw you. Hey, 
Monolith. Oh! Oh shoot! Oh god! <laughs> oh my god! I knew it! I saw you wake up. What the? Whoa! Hey! Chill! Oh no, Rogue, don't go in there, no! <laughs> Oh, Strelok's shooting. Are, are you guys... What the hell's happening in there? Hey! What? Oh, Rogue was in there. Poor Rogue. Oh! Stre Strelok behind you? Strelok? Wait! I'm confused. Who did I just shoot? Wait, who are you? Who are you? I'm confused. Wait, who was this? A random monolith guy? I have no clue where to go. Oh, is it in there? Oh no. I think it's gonna be in there. At least a lot of these guys have frags on them. At least. Oh, wait, oh, I think I just clicked yes on whatever just popped up, I clicked yes. So I guess we're going in. Yep. Fully understand what that's saying. Just to lessen the effects. I'm gonna drink some water too. And I see a plate of armor in my, in my inventory. I'm gonna put that on. I'm happy I got all the radiation protective stuff then. Yeah. I'm gonna put that on. Alright, where the hell do I Where do I even go? Straight? Is this open? Oh, there's a lot of mono boys in here. Yikes, yeah, this is gonna be uh It's gonna be pretty radioactive. I'm gonna eat some food really quick too. Before we go. Oh, I forgot that Yadalin makes you wobble a little bit. We're just gonna have to go with it. Eating probably radiated tomatoes now. Alright, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> Woo! Oh, good god, you're so no! Oh my I think that was an RPG. Last save. <laughs> Oh, AP shreds! Oh my gosh! Yeah, baby! I hear the squeaky light! Whoa! He had an RPG and he missed the shot. That was the RPG guy from earlier. Whoa! Hello. Oh, jeez. That's a hard angle. Oh, just push it! Ow! Ow! Here, right side, take that. Oh, hello! Left side, take. Oh, that was a bad throw. Whew. Left side, take that. Aha, I got him. Hello? Hello, gamers. Nobody to the left. Oh my gosh, this place is nuts. I can't even see you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to break out the nods. I just can't see clearly. Even with the flashlight. So, Rogue and them are 70 meters behind me, engaging something back there. I don't even know what they could be engaging at this point. It's weird that they're not sticking with me though, like, hey, stay, stay far, stay close. Can you guys run to me? Ignore combat, just run to me. Whoa. I think he ran in that door. Yep. Rank has improved. Sterlock, Rogue, could definitely use some help. I don't even know where to go. That's the problem. You know what? I'm gonna toss a grenade. I have a lot of these. Hello, hello. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, these are carbon. These are the 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 the, the oh shoot, uh, graphite. We're in the reactor. We're below it. How do we get up? This is probably super radioactive. Oh my gosh, that I would be dead. <gasps> oh, oh, where it's in here. See, I haven't played the. Oh, it's right there. How do I get up there to the to the left? Yeah, yeah come on. <gasps> oh, I got it. Hello, Wish Granter. Uh, my friend Sherlock is supposed to be here too. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna die. I'm gonna quick save. I'm scared. Make a wish. <laughs> I want the zone to disappear. Humanity is corrupt. Mankind must be controlled. I wish for world peace. I desire all the riches of the zone. Make me immortal. Say nothing. Um, honestly, I feel like the zone disappear is gonna kill everything. Humanity is corrupt is gonna kill everybody. I wish for world peace. It's kind of lame. Desire all the riches in the zone? That's my character originally wanted. Make me immortal. Eh, kind of lame. Say nothing. I desire all the riches of the zone. Is that God? God, is that you? Is it because I clicked riches instead of world peace? <laughs> uh. Alright, hey, um. I desire all the riches. <laughs> he crashed the game! New area! New area! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. An, I, I noticed my frames went down when I approached this new area. Oh, damn it. Just give me up. Uppies. The ladder. Come on, game. Ow! Hey! Ow! Ow! Jeez! Rude! Oh! <laughs> Monolith! Yeah, you better pray to your gods. Oh, there's fights already going on. Oh, he's faking dead. No. Oh. Hey, I see you too. Ooh. Ooh. My frames. They're very low. That's not a good thing. Someone's being shotgunned over here. Are you being shotgunned? Oh, jeez! We gotta pick a way, guys. Oh, what the hell? He's like a... He's a ghost or something. Wait, what the... Wait, who is that? Who is who? Who is who? Who is... Uh, yep, that's a... That's a box. <laughs> Bro! Bro! Where'd you go? Okay, Rogue is just vibing, literally going Rogue. Oh, click, click, click! <laughs> I'm on EP ammo now. Oh my gosh. Strelok, okay, you're good, you're over here, cool. Wow. My armor's immediately at 50% now. What is that even? Oh, my gun's jamming. That's weird. They're like... They're SCPs, man. What's the loot on them? Projection. What? <laughs> this is weird. Clearing the room. I got a lot of these. 
Might not have much ammo, but I've got a lot of these. Have fun. <laughs> I think I cleared the room. I'm pretty sure I cleared that old room. Whoa! Jamming. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Why are you so scary, bro? Four rounds. I know I could use my AK. Ah, oh, jeez, but I I just don't have the ammo. Six rounds. Come on. Jeez. I guess I'll have to use the AK. Oh. Oh, hello, Strelok. Where have you guys been? Whoa. This is a weird room. I'm gonna quick save because I have no idea what this is. And grab whatever this is. Answers. Alright, Sherlock, I've done what you wanted. Take the shard. Your answer's for mine. Very well, I'm grateful for your help. Ask, and I'll do my best to answer. Okay. What exactly is the zone? The zone is neither a miracle nor a manifestation of evil. It isn't a natural phenomenon, either. Over ten years ago, a group of scientists conducted a secret experiment. They discovered that a mysterious psychic field, or that, oh yeah, called New Sphere, enveloped the Earth. They thought that by influencing the field, they could influence the world's population. They wanted to remove violence and selfishness from people's minds. No single person could achieve that, so they joined their minds to become common consciousness, wired to a set of extremely powerful generators. Predictably, things went array, Array, <laughs> array, away. I guess I read away, and the experiment caused a rift in the new new sphere. Emanations, or rather, the first emission of uncontrolled psychic energy, created the zone. Who or what were the common consciousness? They were a. These are not common words. I guess a group of overly ambitious scientists. They thought that they could fix humanity by exploiting something they barely understood. They didn't know it, but they were paving their own road into hell. In order to achieve their goal of saving humanity, they turned themselves into an artificial hive mind. They accidentally created the zone. They were responsible for emissions, the miracle machine, the brain scorcher, zombies, and the monolith, which were all part of their defense network. And they were the ones who placed the wish granter inside the sarcophagus. I had the chance to kill them, so I did. Ooh. What's the true nature, nature of the wish granter? The wish granter, also known as the monolith, is a sham. It was made to lure naive stalkers into the heart of the zone so that the sea consciousness could seize brainwash and turn them into an it's oh i saw it with my own two eyes and i'm not sure but i may have wished for something i don't remember my memories are still hazy i was able to resist its call when i came back here in 2012 and i don't want to confront it ever again i was curious if the psychic backlash after the death of the sea consciousness had any effect on it then i heard the rumors about the shard of the monolith what kind of artifact is the shard of the monolith that's somewhat self-explanatory uh, legends say that the sea consciousness died, the wish granter was damaged, a part of it broke off, some stalker visited the power plant in the aftermath and found the shard. Clearly his snooping incurred the wrath of Monolith's forthes, forthes, forces returning to secure the power plant again, and he had to escape quickly, leaving the shard behind to discourage pursuit. Although sounding a, wow, apocryphal? Apocryphal. I've never heard these words. The story spread quickly. I knew that it could be at least par sorry, partly true, so I wanted to investigate. The shard might hold answers that, the, uh, that no document could reveal. Huh. 
Um, I already kind of understand, like, anomalies and emissions and mutants. I can scarcely believe that the zone is man-made. I've seen the Miracle Machine in the Brain Sculpture, but this, how did they manage to achieve that? With something far more powerful. I believe that the power plant was somehow connected to this, maybe one or more of the reactors used to work even after the incident in 1986, but that'd be only the possible power source. I've heard rumors that there's a top secret installation even further north, an area so deep within the zone that reality itself collapses in there. Vicious mutants, countless anomalies, monolith troops, and a set of generators that were used in the failed experiment in 2006. They're mentioned in the documents you brought me. I might be able to find them one day. Ooh. Thank you. This is possibly more than I ever could have hoped for. I'll return to my base. What about you? I've got my goal that moves away from me the further I manage to progress. There are some secrets to discover beyond the CNPP, and plenty of uncharted areas that may reveal even more, or produce even more questions, who knows? I'm not sure if it's worth all the lives that have been lost on the way there, and I may never be. Well, the things you've told me certainly shed a new light on many phenomena we, count, we encounter in the zone. Professor Sakharov will be elated to receive all that knowledge. Yes, the ecologist can finally publish something substantial after all these years. Be careful, though. If you reveal too much too fast, or at the wrong time, the consequences might be terrible. I doubt humanity is ready to discover the zone's dirty little secrets. Consider your actions and decisions. I'm positive the professor will be able to, or will know how to handle this data. We've suspected some of the things you told me for a long time, and we certainly don't want to endanger the outside world because of something controversial that we discovered. We'll be careful. Good. Take this as a token of gratitude and reward for your assistance. We should go our separate ways now, but I hope we'll meet again some way, someday. Farewell, Stalker. 31 rounds of AP ammunition. After that, we have four rounds FMJ. 11... Okay, so we have two mags. We have also a whole mag of EP. I'm gonna use that first. For the... F oh, wait, what the... It didn't switch to EP, it switched to AP. Go back to EP. Okay. Now, on the foul... Is four rounds and then another four rounds okay and then the goss rifle is totally empty but we need to keep it because it's freaking it's money it's a lot of money so what's that's worth so we are just gonna try to sneak out of here my objective said finish right it said finish oh sakharov okay so i wow i need to go so far south in zaton we are definitely gonna go to the boat and buy some ammo because we need it very badly. He started shooting me. Okie dokie. Zombies. I don't know what's going on. Also, for you sharp observers out there, you will have noticed that this is an extremely different sounding game right now than it was just two minutes ago in the video. Uh, this is recorded the next day, actually, from the last... And I obviously... Freedom and Ecologist Factions have declared war on each other. Um... This is a mercenary. Oh, shit. So I have a setting that allows for changes to happen between factions, and this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this happen. I wish I could put the mercenary patch back on. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That's cool. So these are the old... Oh, that's sick. That looks so much better. I do miss the old models a little bit. But that is so much improved. Look at that. You guys have seen the, the old models in, like, my bad dreams and stuff. And the intros to some of my videos. These look multitudes better. I'm glad you finally returned. I realize that must have been a great ordeal. I wonder, were you successful in your quest? Yes, I met and talked to Strelok after 
I helped him defeat Monolith forces and raid the CNPP, he told me about the Zone's secret. Evidently, the Zone is a result of a failed experiment that was intended to influence a psychic field that envelops our planet. It was conducted by a group of scientists who had become a collective name, the Common Consciousness. Their failure caused a rift in the psychic field that spawned the anomalies of the Zone. Uh, people are talking about some dark stalker from an unknown faction. Apparently, he's preaching about the Zone on and on. Have you heard of him? I don't even know who this is either. Sometimes I cannot tell if you are joking, young man. I suppose the situation is very, fairly stable, at least. Come to think of it, there was... Oh my gosh, I can't read. There has been one unsettling development here lately. Some new stalkers came to Yantar a few days ago. This hooded fellow among them. Rather than help our guards fend off the constant incursions, he prefers to preach about the wonders of the zone. I heard him myself, and I'm afraid the man might be insane. He has done no direct harm to us so far, although our guards are growing weary of his presence. Please try to convince him to leave us be. Uh, preaching the zone sounds fairly really I'll question him first and see what I can do. I apologize. Uh, okay, yeah. Mortal Sin. Mysterious Envoy. Okay, whole new quest. Who's this guy? Hey, who are you? Do you seek enlightenment? Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, I want to talk. Good. I'm glad that among all the people who single-mindedly pursue personal gain that there are some people still willing to talk about something greater. What do you want to know? Uh, what's your goal? My goal is to spread the message, make people all aware what the zone truly is, that it is a miracle, that it can help us improve, that it can save humanity from its own self-destructive nature. I strive to encourage other stalkers to join us so we may share the power inherent in the zone's many secrets. This way, the, when push comes to shove, they'll be able to stand with us when we cleanse the world of sin. Who are you? I am a humble envoy of our father. Long ago, I used to be like any other stalker, but then I was shown the truth of the zone. That was that was when I changed, uh, became an entirely different person. My identity doesn't matter anymore. All that matters is my message. Who sent you? The community to which I belong. We call ourselves Sin. Yeah, I've killed a lot of you. Uh, after the flaw in humanity that we wish to correct, various factions have various goals. Some wish to destroy the zone, some to exploit its riches, and others to marvel at its many wonders. However, we alone know the truth. We are the true keepers of the zone. We alone boast all the knowledge and power that the zone may grant. Sin, I don't think I've ever heard of you before. For as long as the zone has existed, we have kept a low profile. Rather than engage in turf wars or scour the zone in pursuit of riches, uh, we prefer to silently collect knowledge, grow stronger. Where two are fighting, the third one wins, and now we are almost ready to step out of the shadows and into the light of Virage. I hope you'll step into it with us. Um, sure, it sounds interesting. I, th I knew you'd be interested. You have turned out to be quite special. Sadly, not everyone is ready to join our ranks, but I've got some high hopes about you. Thanking you... <laughs> uh, thank you for bringing forth your enlightenment. I must go now. Very well. I hope you'll consider joining us. Farewell. Okay. I go back to the scientist and just say that he's a crazy religious guy? Hello? <laughs> Why do you have, where, where do you come from? What are you doing in that room? What did you discover? He's some sort of agent from a faction called Sin. He claims that they are uh, that they know more about the zone than anyone else, and they're, apparently they plan to cleanse the world. Also, he looks for recruits to join their cause. That is disturbing. My guards have recently been countering hostile stalkers from a mysterious faction. He is most likely a member of that very faction. As far as I know, they frequent the Red Forest for their hunting. However, yeah, I saw them in like a tunnel in, in the Red Forest. However, a legendary man lives there called Forrester. Please talk to him about the situation. The more we know, the better. We can prepare for whatever will come. Meanwhile, I'll talk with the guards about the security breach. I'll see what I can do. It's interesting how the main quest has led into this. Like, I went and helped Strelok. I raided the Chernobyl MPP. And now we're back doing this quest, which is leading into the Sin faction. I don't know why. Um, it's kind of an interesting tangent after Living Legend, you know? Ooh. That looks very much like Monolith. Whoa, what is he shooting? My quick save. Ooh, he's shooting a Bure. He's still alive. Ooh, I think he just killed that guy. Uh oh. Ow. 
The other guy couldn't do that? Couldn't shoot him six times? Monolith with a Scar H. A pistol? Oh yeah, I think I can sell the pistol. It's... Just gonna give it another nade over there too. Oh shoot! Oh! Whoa! That sound is crazy! <laughs> Where? Is that it? I heard another one off this way. I think that's it. It's a little monolith patrol. Whoa, he got torched by that spark. Woo! I'm OCD, man. People people commented about my uh <laughs> about my my reloading after shooting one round. Yeah. In this game, how many times in this playthrough? Have we survived off like the last bullet being shot? Probably like three times we killed something with the very last bullet. Ah right? yes, I think I know who you're referring to. They appeared without warning a couple days ago, came from the north. There was something ominous about them. The way they walked silently in a tight formation, other stalkers immediately sidestepped to make way for them, and then they simply walked in the forest like it was some regular park. I've heard distant gunshots many times since, more than usual that is. They're still over there? Yes, I'm quite sure of that. I think they've been looking for something or someone. What exactly I can't tell. Judging by the smoke, however, they set up camp on the eastern part of the Red Forest and continues to your, their search. Eastern part, you say? There's a glade over there, accessed through an abandoned mine shaft. If you wish to confront them, then that's where they're likely to be. Other than my tower, the Romance Bridge and the mines. Are there. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise him. Oh, jeez. Oh, I have my flashlight on. What the hell? Okay, that was it. Oh, you know what this place is? This is the place where I fell down this hole in episode I think it was two and there were fire toilets that were very scary and I couldn't get back up because I couldn't jump high enough Ooh, shocky sound hello what the who are you Is this guy I'm looking for are you asleep or dead hello Hello? Yes. Uh, greeting stalker. Stitch. That's an unexpected reunion. What are you doing here? Hey man, long time- He's just walking out. <laughs> he just walk- Long time no see. It's a long, complicated story, but I'll try to be concise. We're short on time here. I've been followed by a bunch of mean guys. They're dead. I took uh, care of them before they could pay you a visit. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Anyway, the faster we act, the better. So, remember the shard of the monolith? That artifact you helped Sherlock get? Well, he asked about it. Or he asked it about the zone, and it granted him a vision of something. Or or something. Like some magic eight ball, only actually magic. Anyway, we discovered an area northwest of the power plant. A really scary place. What did you do next, Mr. Dirt Wall? I'm slowly looking towards. Well, we were uh, we went to take a proper look. And then, that was when shit hit the fan. Turned out there's a band of fanatics there, but they weren't monolith. They chased us off, 
and kept pursuing us for days. We eventually had to split up to lose them. I went here, Rogue went west, and I think Sherlock actually turned back. And those fanatics chased you all the way to the Red Forest? That's some scary resolve. Yeah, seriously, that's insane. Too bad for you, or too bad for them, you crossed their path. Before we split up, Strelok said, That place we found is the source of all emissions, the birthplace of, of the zone, and it's occupied by those nutcases. That can't be good. Holy crap, I agree. Have you got any plan? We have to break in and stop whatever they're doing over there, but I left my decoder in a secret stash. I wanted to retrieve it, but I was afraid they'd find me the second I stuck my head out there. Uh, that's not a problem anymore. What's stopping you? Erm, um, they'll send another team if they haven't already, and they know what I look like, but they won't know you because you killed the whole team. That, and I need to stay here in case Strelok or Rogue will try to contact me. Can you get the decoder for me? Yeah, sure, another fetch quest. Where is it? <laughs> I hid it at the back of an orange bus wreckage near the middle of the truck cemetery. Oh, no. Which one? Forget it, just send me the coordinates. Yeah. Thing is, you see... I haven't got the coordinates stored anywhere. It's a secret stash after all. I'm sure you'll be able to find it though. Are you crazy? There's like dozens of buses there. Well, the decoder has an RF module to transmit and receive signals. I'll set the frequency to 171 megahertz just in case I miss its location. You have, If you have an RF receiver, you can try following its signal by using its frequency. Once you get close enough to its location, your device should start beeping. It should be easy enough to find it. I hope the batteries inside the decoder are still alive. Eh, alright, I'll do this, but it better be worth the effort. We might stop a bunch of fanatics from haphazardly unleashing a mission after a mission on us if you get it. Fair enough. Off I go. <coughs> well... Oh, sorry, sorry, yep, sorry. Uh... Excuse me? Do we have a freaking invasion going on? I, I got this, guys. I got this, 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 I got this. Don't worry. Hopefully that doesn't damage that guy. Oh my god. There's tons of them. Do I have shotgun? Oh, I don't have shotgun shells. I just have the valve. <laughs> Easy pickings. Oh, what's going on? Whoa, oh my god. Shit. I did not know that guy fell. He died! Oh crap! Oh crap! Guys, pull back! Pull back, buddy! Pull back! Oh, they're getting back up, too. Oh my gosh! They're actually getting through these guys. Woo! Uh oh Oh. Holy crap. I didn't even hear them. I walked up, I didn't even hear them. Like, I, I started recording because it was totally... <laughs> I literally... <laughs> I just started recording for the day. So, I walked in to the south side from Armored Warehouses. I walked up to here, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to start recording. So, I clicked the start record button. And it was like they spawned in right behind me when I wasn't looking or something. Or maybe they walked in, I don't know. I wonder if I can hire anybody here. Uh, hey, looks as poor as his team. Yeah, sure. Yeah, if you want to come with to the to the freaking <laughs> truck cemetery, you're probably gonna die. Okie dokie. So I've actually downloaded a few more mods. Um, I guess I guess they've been they've been running for a little bit in this episode so far. But uh, right now we're back in the the Ace science suit. It's a little bit uh, different looking though because we've got that aesthetic mod enabled so it's changes all of the 3d models as well as you could actually hear dogs barking in the distance and there happens to be a dog one of the mods disables all the weird sounds that happen in the distance that we used to hear and only enables sounds actually re-enables sounds for distant ai like this dog so it's kind of nice makes it a little bit more realistic um we've got the valve right now i went to uh Army warehouses, grabbed that, went through Roz talk, and now we're at the vehicle graveyard, the truck cemetery. Ooh, there's definitely either one of like the hellhounds from Metro. I always forget what those things are called, like night stalkers, night watchers, or something. 
or a Camara. I saw something on four legs. He's between the big helicopters. Which, by the way, look at how big those helicopters are. And then look at the MI-24 hind right there. That's how big those things are. I mean, that thing is ginormous. Those are, I think, the biggest helicopters ever made, I'm pretty sure. Russians, uh, they love their helicopters, man. Hey, I remember him from somewhere. I can feel the ground shaking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. buddy, get back, buddy. Oh God, he's dead. Oh, yep, yep, buddy, you're, oh, no, 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 no. Don't get attracted to him, come to me. Oh, shoot, my buddy's already at, ha and he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yep, yep, ooh, my buddy is already dead. Jeez. Got him. Sorry, buddy, you just, you ran straight for him. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Hello? Is it clear? Oh. Okie dokie. <laughs> Dang. The Val can shred. Okay. That's getting fuzzier. So it must be... It's gotta be one of... Oh, yep, there it is. Hey! Nice! You okay? What are you... Buddy, that is fire! Man, he's just chilling! I got your damn decoder stitch. I knew you got it, no problem, man, which is really disturbing, actually. <laughs> still, thanks. Uh, any news? Yep, I was able to contact Rogue. He's still somewhere to the west, observing enemy maneuvers. He said Sin has mobilized a lot of men who are currently moving southward, split into several detachments. That doesn't augur well for us. True, that can't be good. Come to think of it, their envoy said something about cleansing the whole world from Sin. They might be about to attempt just that. We'll have to act fast if we want to stop them. Oh, yeah, this Val is sick. This is the best gun. I think this is the best gun yet. The SVD might be better for, like, very long-range stuff, but this is good for this quick, close-range. Ooh, one of our guys is dead. Ooh. I'm in the open. I have no good cover. Oh, ow! Eat that. Ouch. Ouch, I'm just gonna have to nade until I find my gun. Where's my gun? Ooh, I need you, thank you. Oh, sorry buddy, don't walk into that grenade. This is not the right gun. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? PB2000? <laughs> just in the middle of the street? I don't even know where that came from. Whoa, there's so many. Got a bandage, bleeding, and I gotta eat. I think I got some canned corn. Eat some tactical canned corn along the way. Man, my guys are dropping like flies. We've only got four left, I think we started with six. Careful, buddy, careful with that angle. Ooh, I'm surprised you didn't just get headshot. Oh, oh, wow, they're down there? 
Oh no, he's looting. <laughs> it's like, is there a basement? Ouch. A lot of angles. No cover. Whoa! Who's right there? What's happening right there? Whoa! <laughs> Take the grenade! Oh, that was right on him, but he still lived. Uh oh, one of my guys is almost dead. Who has a Gauss rifle? Who has the Gauss rifle? Who had the Gauss rifle? This guy? One of us? They're looting. That's so funny. What are they doing? Are they trying to loot his Gauss rifle? I think they're all trying to fight over it. Oh yeah, one of them picked it up. <laughs> Who got it? You got it. Are they... Oh, he's not actually dead. I think he's not... Whoa! Buddy, watch out! Whoa! Watch out, man. Look, just because you got the Gauss rifle doesn't mean you're invincible. You gotta be careful. There it is. Whoa! Jeez. Is that our guy? I'm gonna click F5 and then I'm gonna left click. Oh, nope. Okay, not our guy. Whoa! Take him out! Take him out! Woo. Good shot. Hello? Whoa! No, 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 no! Oh, no! No! Why did, you, why did you have to peek it? Crap. Who were you? Were you the Goss Rifle guy? I don't even know. He wasn't, but it's still a tragedy. How the... Oh. Oh! Jeez. Oh. Get me back. Get me back. I gotta heal. Whew. Okay, Rogue, um, so about that squad I had. Yeah, they're all dead. I have one guy. Hey, tough guy. It was rough, but the castigators are dead. <laughs> Good job. Finally, we've got some breathing room. Your boss sends a, sends a reward for your efforts, so I'll pass it to you. Thanks. What now? A few stalkers and I managed to ambush a sin patrol in the meantime. Killed most of them immediately, but I knocked one of them out. Seems to be a relatively fresh recruit, so he's a bit more responsive. I'm no good in, at interrogation. I get violent too quickly. Try to extract any useful info from him. Sure thing. I'll give this a try. Okay. Uh, here's the guy. I guess. You can't break me, but you can't... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I can't... I can't read. That's what I can't do. You can break me, but you can't break sin. We will emerge victorious. Hello there, <laughs> silly scientists. Why do you fight us at all? If you want to research the zone, then you just wait. We'll make it all the greater for you to study. Calm down, man. I just want to talk a little. You, okay, you want to talk, huh? About what? You put up a good fight, but you're clearly a newbie. You don't let those edgy sin freaks control you. Tell me the next step of their plan and we'll let you live. Sin doesn't control me. They convinced me. What's the point of struggling alone to achieve anything if you can't join them? And make the world better, I think. I don't think... You've bought their bullshit yet. Don't trust a bunch of omnicidal bastards. Your life's worth more than a piece of info. Sin may be willing to toss it aside, but I'm not. I, my head, Chernabog, our father, he was very convincing. But the more I think about this, the less convinced I am. I promise you, you won't kill me. Or promise me you won't kill me. Uh, if I tell you what I know, alright? I promise. You'll be a person of war, behave, and you may be even released once we've won this conflict. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. We've been gathering our forces in the west of the zone in preparation for a crushing offense. This area is worse protected than the barrier, after all. Then, we would pour into the southern territories and pick off the factions one by one. See, that wasn't so hard. Thanks for the help. Hope your head feels better soon. Alright. Uh, okay. What's our next one? Do we talk back to Rogue, I guess? Yep. Okay, I'm done. Well, done. I didn't expect him to spill the beans without a good beating. Seems they aren't ready to strike yet. 
we should prepare a sudden counter offense to thwart their plans. So what happens now? I sent out a recon team soon after you'd gone to eliminate the castigators. They were supposed to use the opportunity to, to observe enemy maneuvers deep in the city. They'd been doing really well until they got ambushed and I lost contact with them. Check if there's any survivors and see if you can salvage their mission. Where were they the last time you contacted them? I up, I'll upload the coordinates to your PDA. Be careful. It's close to a fortified enemy position. Okay. Got it. It's a very irradiated place up here. Goss Man is just unloading on him. It's good to have an AI in control of that gun because he has infinite ammo with it. It's actually kind of nice. Oh, you're still alive. Ah, shit. Are you still from the scout team? What happened? Yeah, Bloodsuckers got us. Quick, find drop PDA nearby. Wait, let me help you. Too late. Find PDA. Watch out. Understood. Whoa! Ah, no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, scout team. Wait, let me help you. Understood. See you later. Oh, I've only got one shot loaded. Oh, there's two of them. No, Gossman, no! No, they killed Gossman! Oh, jeez. Ah! Shit! Oh, there's three! Oh, Scouting what happened. Understood. Yep. <laughs> is there a third? Was it just two? That was a lot easier. Just to set up a little bit back in a linear pathway where they can't go around. Uh. Okay, my character is definitely getting tired. There's the PDA. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. It's turning nighttime. We need to go. We need to get out of here. I met the last survivor of the recon team. He didn't last long. Uh, they were reliable men. What about their mission? The survivor wasn't able to tell me much, but I found the team leader's PDA. I think I recorded some useful data on it. Good. At least their sacrifice wasn't in vain. Let me see. So, they did a swell job. Their observations confirm what the POW told us. Center preparing a large-scale invasion, and they're going to pass through Lamansk at full strength soon. They aren't ready yet, though. We have to act quickly. Catch them unawares. Unawares? <laughs> you're right. Still, this won't be easy. Make sure you're completely ready to go before we go. There'll be no turning back or stopping for a break. Fair enough. I'll tell you when I finish my preparations. Okay. So, I am going to go get some sleep. Probably, where can I go? From here. I go through Red Forest. I might just go try to... Ooh. No, I can't go to Dead City anymore because I'm an ecologist. I'm gonna go back to army warehouses, get a night's rest, and then, uh, yeah, and, and, and see where we go from there. Also, if you didn't notice, we're back in the exosuit. I was taking too many rounds to, to be in that Merc suit. So I went back to the super heavy EXO, just so we can eat some of those bullets some more. Cause I was, uh, I was getting damaged, especially from explosions, like explosives. These guys love their explosives. Alrighty. Yep, yep, game respawned them for sure. And they do sound angry. <gasps> How am I out of ammo? Why are you saying grenade? Aha, they're throwing grenades at us. Classy monolith. Yeah, this place stinks to push. Ooh. Yeah, it's really difficult to push this place, especially with this grass. Ooh, get me in! Oh, just get me behind a wall so that grenade won't kill me. Talking about grenades. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, no, I do, I do. 
Take some of those, guys. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> uh, oops. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bandage. I think I'm bleeding pretty bad, so the bleeding isn't stopping. Okay, buddy. Ooh, the radiation. Okay. We did it. I'm gonna bandage. Sorry. I just got shot up a crap ton. Uh, hey, we're still alive. We've just taken over their main rally point while their reinforcements are still in transit. We should keep the momentum going. We're going further soon? Yes, there's a path that will take us to the deserted hospital. It used to be a monolith stronghold for a few years ago, so things might get ugly if we are if we let them get too comfortable there. Um, for some reason, it says that Rogue is 109 meters away from me. Even though I just walked in on this side. Still says he's 79 meters. I don't want him to die. What the hell is this place? Rogue, I'm coming! Don't die, buddy! Don't die, Rogue! Oh, hello! Sorry, bud! Whoa. Yeah, I'm happy I brought the exosuit. We kind of needed it. Any more? No? They're behind that door. They're pinning their bodies through the door. Let me see if I can get him. <laughs> I got him. Near the door. Holy! What the heck? Is that a dishka? Or a minigun? Oh my gosh. Rogue is just saying, nah, man, this is, that's the line. I draw the line at Dishka's. Is there an MG? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, man. Whoa. I think I got him. I got the MG. Quick save. <laughs> oh, no! What the hell? Can I not get you? Maybe I can't get him. Ooh! I think that left hallway is the way we have to go through. I'm pretty sure. Let me bandage first. Rogue, don't take too many hits. All right, bud. Just be patient with it. Take it slow. Okay, I don't want to... Ooh, somebody's on it again. Hey, stop that! Oh my gosh, it's a whole nother room. Do I oh. not? What? <laughs> what? The voyant. Supposed to go the in the mis the tel a telepathic voice called you to the location of a mysterious stalker. Investigate. <laughs> okay, game. Flashlights? Should I be scared? No, that's Rogue. What the heck are you doing, Rogue? Oh, what the... Who the... Who are you? Oh. Chernobog. You have come a long way. A welcoming committee. How nice. Good thing I didn't shoot you on sight, mister. My flock have taken to calling me Chernobog. I saw the distant glow of... Viraj, and I swear I shall bring that light to this violent world. Consider the zone. A, th a synthesis of the new sphere and the biosphere. Consider how destructive, how hungry the new sphere is. That's simply a reflection of human nature, but the zone... The zone could well be a remedy to our derailment. If it were to spread across the globe, everyone could see themselves for what they truly are. 
No more deceptions nor delusions. Then the healing could begin. I need you to stop killing my children. I need you to let them bring peace to this restless world. Sorry for throwing a spanner in the works, I suppose, but your merry men started killing us first. Um... The sea conscious already tried to heal humanity. Yeah. I'll say I'll say number two. I don't expect you to understand this grand vision. The task I have been given, despite your extensive knowledge of the zone, I used to exact I used to exact punishment upon the unjust on my own. Although my efforts were misunderstood, I was condemned to death. But the master saved me from the people who didn't understand, and then made me stronger, gave me a new purpose. And yet they were sentenced to death themselves, helpless, by a person who didn't understand. Don't you see? Stalkers are a threat to the coming of a perfect world. Fear or greed always gets the better of them. We cannot let them interfere. You're surprisingly calm for someone who's about to suffer a crushing defeat. Have you accepted your fate already? I accepted my fate over a decade ago, when it was first mandated by the Masters. I was improved in order to improve the world. My destiny is to succeed. I cannot fail. You, on the other hand... Okay, time to end this. Shelsta- Whoa! What is this? That pathetic psi helmet you carry won't protect you. Either you'll come to see the truth in my whoa, or you will die here, all of you. I won't. Uh, this is like an anime, like reading an anime book, or something. I won't let you uh, struggle all you want. Like the billions of souls who have come before you, there will be change. The stubborn, the dying. It's not up to them anymore. It's not up to you. Screw your change. Fuck you. <laughs> Impressive. Such a strong resolve. I truly wish you'd join us. The fact we're enemies saddens me deeply. I'll put you out of your misery soon enough, just you wait, I swear. <laughs> Sorry. This is the point where it's like, the game is so old, it's trying to like, and also, I don't even know, this part, This isn't a campaign mission, obviously. It's just, there's not enough like, there. It's just all text. Uh, okay. He simply vanished, are you okay? Of all things in the zone, yes, I'm fine. He wanted me to shoot you in the back. Well, thanks for not doing that. How'd you resist him? I barely managed here. I visualized disassembling, cleaning and assembling my gun, bit by bit. Anyway, we have to go. The guy said he wants to expand the zone. They happen to occupy the place that causes emissions. Basically, we're messed up. Yeah, we've got to hurry. We'll take out sin patrols along the way, too. Last thing I want uh, is to be surrounded by armed fanatics while Chernobog is playing his mind tricks on us. Ooh, North Chernobyl PP. Okay. He has escaped into the tunnels. Yep, that's the MPP. We're raiding it twice this episode. The south side was with Strelok taking out the... Or I guess taking a shard of the monolith. And learning the secrets of the zone. This time we're defending the zone from a crazy religious faction that wants to raid all of it. I have... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh. He can't see me because the pipe! Crotch shot. Oh! Mission update. Okay, probably new area. Uh, looks like... Ooh! Travel to the ominous area known as the generators. Oh. Okay. I have 329 rounds left of SP6. 329. That should be well enough for what we've got to do. Looks like our only way down is this little area here. Do you know how to path down that? Can you jump down, Rogue? You probably can't. You probably have to run around somewhere. This place is pretty cool. This really does. Like, this wide open space. This reminds me of, uh, of Ghost Recon a lot. This gives me those vibes. Especially doing it as a team with a teammate. And like kind of sniping people from the distance. That's definitely a uh, Ghost Recon sort of vibe. I'm surprised it's this open. And I'm also surprised there's not crazy amounts of mutants here either. Okay. We're in here. Where's our objective? Hey man, is that you? Come over here quick. Uh, it's off to the northwest side? Okay. Anonymous. How would he see us from way over there? That's my question. Why is there snake sounds? 
Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this place I feel like is the boss fight of the boss fight. This is the ve very fitting area for the finale. Ooh, there's two pseudo giants up there. Wow. Where is he? Is he in here? Oh, hello. Hello. Stitch! So you got here before us. Where's Strelok? That's the thing. He said he couldn't wait any longer, so we found a back entrance to the enemy base here. Undefended and all. After we hacked the lift, Strelok went alone to disable their thingamajig. I'm here to cover him. Damn, you could have waited a bit. You hear that? We have to hurry. But we saw Sin gathering their forces near the main entrance. If they notice Strelok can go all the way down to stop him, then we can kiss our asses goodbye. We have to divert their attention away. Okay, we'll assault their, we'll assault their headquarters. Let's go. All right. Where's their HQ? Where could their HQ even be? I guess this is it. We just, we just kill. That's our objective here. We just kill them. Imminent emission? Okay, we gotta attack that group to the south. There's two, there, or no? I thought I saw two. Yep, there was two. Two pseudo giants in the center there. I do not want to attract their attention. Maybe we can bait them into the sin guys though. All right, where are they? We're off to the right a little bit. Oh, what the heck? The place just like turned off. Is Strelok doing something to it? He must already be. I still hear the sounds, but the sky effect is gone. Oh crap, where'd they go? They're still farther to the east. Maybe there is a base over there. Ooh, yep. Yep, that's a base. Whoa, bloodsuckers! I was just trying to get meds! Where, 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 where? I thought I was gonna pull out a shotgun. There we go. All right, let's get the shotgun out. We do not need a pistol right now. Shotgun, six shots in it. All right, cool. So what is up here? Oh, there's a guard tower. Look at these trees, they're huge. Oh, there was something. Ooh, sniper's up on the towers. Ooh, sniper on that tower. And he was tough. Woo! One to the right. That looks like an entrance. I'm just gonna get up to the wall. Oh, my gun jammed. Ooh, they've got GLs as well. Those are so scary. Ooh, I can't shoot through it. I don't know if I even killed him. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think it's pretty good that I brought the exosuit for this. I didn't know this was going to be the last, last mission. Oh, that's, that's freaking Rogue. Rogue, you're wearing like the same shirt as some of these guys that we're fighting. You know that, right? And you're jumping in front of me. Whoa! What? Uh, and someone passed me another med kit. Wait, wait, wait. Was that it? Was it? Did we get it? I'm confused. I just heard a spooky sound. I think we did it. That was the last one. This was the Sin base. Look at their BTRs and stuff. Who is this? Oh, it's Chernobog. Here you are, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. There will be no place for you in our peaceful world. Your men are dead, you are here alone. Strelok has foiled your plan, just as he foiled the sea consciousness before you. What did you say? The machines you wanted to harness the emission with? They're broken. You cannot force the zone to expand now. Years of preparation gone. My children dead. I cannot let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't let you doom the world. I shan't give up. The alternative is unacceptable. Enough is enough. You have failed. Prepare to say goodbye. 
I cannot fail. There is still one option left. I will consult the wish grant. What the hell? What's happening? I will consult the wish granter. It shall have my life and the world will have peace. Viraj made manifest just as masters wanted. Farewell. You cannot force peace, Chernabog. I'll be seeing you soon. What? <laughs> wow. Oh, there's another mission? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, there's so much to this. Where even are we? We're supposed to go... Oh my gosh. We're going back into the DMPP, aren't we? We're going back in a second time. Man, the lighting! Look at that. How cool is this? This is so crazy. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I haven't even been paying attention. Where do I go? We're going back in the south side? Yep. Looks like we're going into the place. Alright. We are indoors once again. Looks like a night vision area. I'm gonna load. You guys ready? Is it, a, is it a night vision or is it a flashlight sort of vibe? There's definitely a flashlight thing in the hallway. Looks like one way only. Oh, I think they heard us. Ho ho ho! Ow! Always oh, big help! Help me, please! Uh, was that him? <laughs> that was a guy named Chort. Okay. I guess we're taking out like all of his main guys along the way. Rogue's just going in there. Whew. Was that him? Best. There's so many missions that like start and begin. Don't even know. Chernobog is dead. Whether you want to use the wish granter yourself is your choice. We made it. Another mutant fanatic bites the dust. Hopefully that'll be the last one. Agreed. I mean, I like it here in the zone, but the idea that there's normal life going on out there helps me relax now and then. I'd love a safe place to return to when I'm done adventuring. Yeah, the zone really doesn't need to get any larger. I suppose we're done here. Rogue and I will rejoin Mr. Strelok. What about you? Do you want to make a wish? Um, I'd love to examine the so-called wish granter, but I think the risk is just too great. It's product of scientists being reckless. Maybe I'll break that trend. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't want the wish granter. Okie dokie. Was he in here? Was this him? And then these two were... Oh, there's Chernabog. <laughs> yeah, I started unloading on him. And my buddies are just, just staring, watching me fight him at the end of the hallway. Make sure you're extra dead, Cherno boy. Alright. That's it. We report back to the scientists, and we're done. What an absolutely amazing mod. What a mod. I mean, I've been playing this for, I don't even know, for every episode you've seen that's an hour long, I probably play it for maybe six hours. Five to six, five to eight hours probably, I'd say. Anywhere between five to eight hours equals an episode. We've had, we've had five episodes after this one's done. This is the final episode, this is the finality. The finality, I can't even talk when I'm not even reading. The finale. Um, and we're, we're done. I think it's well worth it to call it here and, and you know, call that the, the conclusive end 
to this story. There, I mean, there's hours and hours of gameplay in this mod, and it's still remaining. I, I will definitely go back and replay this game. Um, if you follow my Twitch, for sure, we'll be streaming live on there pretty soon. Uh, I definitely want to do another uh, Anomaly playthrough, kind of on more hardcore settings. This was on, I think, just the normal setting. This wasn't on the easy one, but this was on the normal one. Um, but we got used to it pretty quick. The AI were still very punishing but I feel like I could definitely have a much more interesting interactive experience with you guys on a live stream playing this game than in a video that, you know, I can't talk to you directly while I play the game. Thank you all so much for watching this series. Um, just some fun facts about the stats. This, this series has been watched for over 50 years of watch time now. Um, over definitely a million views already. Uh, just absolutely crazy amounts of people have watched these videos and I'm so uh, I'm so proud to, to have made something that you guys really enjoyed um, so yeah until the next one thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you bye